digital biothesiometer, vibrometer. Connect the mains cable backside and other end to the power socket. Connect one end of interface cable, 9 pin D male. and other end to the PC, 9 pin D female. Connect the VPT probe at appropriated slot. Do not over tight the screw. Vibrometer Software Installation Procedure Insert the Vibrometer Software CD in the CD drive. Then the following screen appears. Now select the Setup folder for installing the software. The following screen will appear. Click Setup file with monitor icon and the following screen will appear. Give Next next options to install the software finally launch the requiring files and restart the system now select the given options and click finish to complete the setup now the vibrometer software is installed and is in ready to use vibrometer software understanding the following is the main screen of the vibrometer software. In the home screen, we can see the patients, report, settings, home screen and about buttons. Settings menu. The settings button has the following subtitles. Report title, port settings, header, logo, Consultants, Instructions, Interpretations Report Title This menu is used to keep the desired report heading for a maximum of 20 letters. Example, we have given by default as Biothesiometry Study. Port Settings this is used to select the proper communication port. Please note, only after the port is selected here, the software will function properly. In this port setting menu, there is a sub-menu called Check. Select this to find out the active COM port in the PC and select it. Header. If this menu is pressed, the following screen will appear. The hospital name and the phone numbers can be entered here and the desired fonts and size can also be selected. Save and exit. This menu is used to save the hospital name and address. Preview. This menu is used to see the header before saving it. Consultant. If this menu is pressed, the following screen will appear in your monitor. Add. This menu is used to add new doctor name in the list. Type the consultant name and his specialization in the respective boxes and activate Add menu. Delete. This menu is used to delete the doctor name from the list. Select the name of the doctor from the list on the right side screen and activate delete. Update. This menu is used for editing the already entered name and specialization. Select the name of the doctor from the list and do the correction. After correction, activate update to modify the data. Exit. This is used to come out of that screen. Instructions. Normally it is activated. Activating this option will guide you during the procedure of entering the patient data and other parameters. 
This may be deactivated after you are trained in the usage of software. Since the activation produces many dialog boxes during the procedure. Interpretations The software is designed to interpret automatically the outcome of the test based on certain parameters. The user has the option to modify these parameters depending upon his findings and usage. The ranges can be modified and the study name can also be modified. And if you do not wish to have the age criteria, then do the same modifications in both the age settings. That will give the same result irrespective of the patient age. Patients New The new subtitle in the Patients button is used to start a new patient recording with patient records. Old this subtitle is used to start a test using the already available patient data. You can select the patient data either by name or by the ID. Edit. This subtitle leads to edit the patient's personal and medical data. Quit. This is used to come out of the software. Reports. The reports of the patients can be taken here either by name or by the patient's ID. An instruction dialog box will appear after every operation of the menu. Visit date versus AVG vibrations. This menu helps to find the number of previous visits and the vibration values taken as average for the right and left foot are seen here for comparison. About. This menu is used to know the details of our company. Selection. This menu is used to select the testing areas for a particular patient or for all the patients. Normally, all the 12 testing areas are selected for vibration testing. If we deselect any particular testing area, then the software automatically skips that testing area and the cursor jumps to the next testing area that had been selected. Save. This menu is used to save the patient details and their VPT values. Bar view. While pressing this menu, the following screen will appear. The bar graph for the VPT values can be obtained from here. Click this button to view the report between measuring points and vibrating volts. Preview button is to see the preview of the print and the back button is used to return to the home screen. Preview. This menu is used to see the preview of the print picture. Exit. This menu is used to come out of the home screen. Open the software. Enter the patient details. Select the testing area and start the test. Touch the tip of the vibration probe on the patient palm and find out if he feels the vibration. Then the vibration strength is increased. Instruct the patient to respond to vibration as you place the probe on the foot, similar to hand. Place the tip of the probe gently at the great toe and increase the voltage slowly. As the voltage increases, the strength of the vibration also increases. Ask the patient if he feels the vibration. As soon as the patient responds to vibration, Press check key in the probe. Pressing check key stops the vibration and the patient does not feel the vibration. If the patient responds to this correctly, then we may assume that the test is correct and complete. If the patient continues to say that he is able to feel the vibration, then he has not understood the concept. Either explain the test again 
or increase the voltage higher and repeat the test. This step should be used while testing all the other points. When the vibration value is reconfirmed, record the displayed reading to the PC by pressing the record button in the VPT probe. Reduce the voltage. Repeat the same process in other testing areas of the foot and the other foot also. After completing the testing of all the 12 points, you may save the values first, then select preview for printing or select the preview and then save the values. After selecting the preview, select the print menu for printing the patient report. Use exit to come out of this program.